From today, we are going to start the new classes. Hello, I'm Ajit from USA Production and I'm a BFX artist. Actually, you know what? Before, I was using the Fusion Studio and I was doing this from past six years. And if you will ask the questions, which software is better, uh, Nuke X or Fusion Studio? Then, of course, the, the simple answer is Nuke X having more uh, more advanced tools but uh, by the other hand if you want to do uh, something in the Fusion Studio then you really need to help from some external plugins or some standalone softwares for example inside the Fusion Studio if, if you're doing some 3D camera tracking then it's really very painful so for 3D camera tracking, you need to uh, take help from the external software such as PF Track, Bozo, or uh, 3D Equalizer, or something like that. But uh, other hand, Nuke X uh, can uh, handle these things very easily because built-in Nuke X 3D camera tracker is way more advanced and easy to use, and it's very straightforward and great 3D camera tracking uh, inside the Nuke X. So of course, whatever the Nuke X can do, uh, the same thing you can do by using a Fusion Studio as well. But as I earlier told you, you need some external plugins or you need to take help from some um, standalone softwares. So yes, um, I was the Fusion Studio user, so now I'm jumping to Nucax and really I like a few things in Nucax but uh, both programs have some ad advantages and disadvantages. In some cases the Fusion Studio is is better than the Nucax. Um, really guys believe me because uh, I will give the example in further classes why the Fusion Studio is better than the Nucax in, in some cases but uh, in some cases Nucax is better than the Fusion Studio so uh, we cannot say which software is better than which one so we are just starting with the introduction so you do not need to worry about the user interface of the Nucax if you are familiar with Fusion Studio or some uh, other node-based compositor like Neutron something then the, the principle is, uh, is, is similar in all the node-based uh, compositor softwares so here we got some uh, screen some display kind of thing so what we are whatever we are doing uh, here in node graph uh, uh, thing that we can directly can see the output from this area okay and this is a control panel area where we got all the property uh, all the node property on this area because this is a control panel area okay and finally this is a node graph area where you can uh, is make some structure of your nodes or you can write your script uh, here in node graph area and uh, the you can jump over uh, curve editor and dope seed this thing help when you are working on animation okay so i'm starting with the thing from where you can uh, import the nodes so there, there are so many methods to import the nodes uh, here in node graph the first one is uh, is a traditional way you can get here some toolkits so for example if you want to read or write node or some color ramp color wars or some basic or some initial nodes that you can get from the image toolkit and uh, the second is a draw toolkit and from here you can get uh, the roto roto paint and grid text something like that way so they arranged the node in the toolkits um, but uh, by the other hand you can also import a node here um, by pressing tab key from your keyboard but make sure your cursor must be in the node graph uh, area and here you can press your tab key from your keyboard and you can search any node for example I want to search I'm just trying to import a constant node so constant 
okay so constant is uh, very similar like what you do in uh, fusion studio in fusion studio you'll got background okay but here you will got constant so constant means you will got some solid colors here so it's, it's very similar like background you'll you'll got some solid background okay uh, remember the constant it's very uh, useful note uh, every time when you are doing some uh, some script uh, uh, in nuke then you need this constant node and as you can see uh, when i insert uh, the constant node and here something came automatically so i earlier i told you uh, that this area is a control panel and here you got the property of the node so you need to double click here on the node and directly you can see the the property of that that particular node uh, from this control panel okay and we still cannot see anything on our display or our screen because uh, we did not connect uh, our constant node to the viewer but still we can see any changes because our by default the constant color is selected black but before okay uh, before all these things uh, as you can see here, this is our display size 2K Super 35 mm, something like that. Way okay, this is a full resolution 2K uh, 2K screens. Okay, and now you want to change your screen resolution and you want to uh, give the parameter according to your camera. So, what kind of video you have, you want to give that uh, output you want from this display. How will you change uh, this thing? So simply you will go to, you you have to go to edit and here you have to select the uh, project settings. And as you can see here, the shortcut key also also given here S. So S is the shortcut key for the project settings. Uh, either you can click here or you can jump over the node uh, graph editor here and press S here, just simply S. And now you can see the 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 project uh, settings property over the control panel area and here from here you can select your frame range so um, what uh, how, ma how many frames you want to take for your compositing here by default is selected 1 200 and that's fine and FPS frame per second I always uh, composite video in 30 frame per second because uh, later on when we are giving the final touch for our video then we can reduce their uh, frames like 24 per uh, 24 frame per second but when we are doing compositing here at least we need uh, to work on 30 frame per second because it's it is it, it helpful it is helpful okay and the third thing is uh, the size or the format of the video so here you can change your format uh, you you may be using uh, to uh, 720 pixels or uh, or full HD 1920 into 180 it's a full HD okay so I'm gonna select a uh, full HD because most of my videos are uh, recorded in the full HD okay and after that uh, you will you might worried about this this masses because this thing is seriously um, is 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 terrible when when many nodes are imported here then this thing are getting masked and you are confused how to um, handle with these things so uh, near to this lock as you can see this black color lock icon near there you'll get some remove all panels from all control panel from the control panel bin okay the shortcut key is also control shift plus a but by clicking this uh, little icon you will rid of from these masses okay and yes one more thing is there uh, and now our constant node uh, format is 180 1080 full HD okay and now we can connect uh, to our viewer node and we want to give some background color not black color because black is not visible because the whole display is in black 
so black is by default color in a nuke okay so it is also work like a transparent uh, color or the same time it also work for a black color so now you may confused um, uh, then what color we want so then what is the what is the color for transparency and what is the color for um, solid color so just I'm double clicking on this uh, constant node and from here you can adjust the color for example I'm going somewhere like red or you can uh, you can change something like this way okay okay red is better or yeah this color is better okay fine and now our constant uh, having some purple uh, looking color I don't know pink purple something like that way okay and yes uh, now I'm gonna insert the text node because we are also testing the simple compositing here but not here why uh, it has been directly connected there because uh, the node was was selected here so whenever the node is selected here how will know the node is selected uh, because as you can see here this yellow background uh, when the node is not selected then there is a gray gray kind of color but when you have click on this node then it turn into the yellow and that means our node is selected so make sure your node is not selected okay when you are importing some node and make sure that your uh, node is not selected otherwise that the new node will always uh, connected with the previous one so it will be the confusing things okay and now I'm gonna import text here okay and now again the mass kind of thing is happening here this thing I want to give you example in early uh, in earlier so how to get rid of this this messy and some confusing kind of thing so we don't know which uh, control or which property you are working on so the first uh, trip is the top one property is always that you are using uh, currently for example if I will do double click on constant then the the selected property uh, how you know the selected property uh, because you'll you'll see little white border around this property in the in the control panel and that means that your this is your selected property um, and you are now working on constant uh, so and again I will click on no uh, text node here and now as you can see the white border is on the uh, text uh, property so now we'll uh, we are working on a text property okay but we want only one at a at single time for example if I'm working on constant then I want only constant property here not some other property as well so what I will do as you can see by default you will get 10 here 10 means we can uh, we can adjust 10 properties in the whole control panel so what I'm typing here I'm gonna type just one so indirectly I want to tell the uh, user interface of the new CAX I, I want to give the input that I at one time I want to handle only one property in whole control panel so now when you are working on constant it will show only constant property and when you are working in a text uh, node then it will show only text property and now the things are not messy this uh, this thing is very straightforward and looking good okay uh, and your the control panel is looking so clean and now you can work easily so inside the text I want to give some like USA production okay and but it's still I can see uh, my text on the display uh, it is just because we did not connect the viewer node to the text node so every time when you are working uh, with the node and when you uh, reach on a final stage then you have to connect that node to the uh, to the viewer node because that's important thing here okay USA production 
and now I have to connect uh, the text and now you can see the text is on the display but we want and somewhere in in the center of the uh, whole display we do not want then on this thing on the top and right corner okay so for that you can you got option also here you can change uh, the justifications and you can also play around the box okay then you can adjust your text into the center but here because i want to tell i want to give an example how how you can play with more nodes here and because this is just for beginners this class is for beginners so i want to make more nodes here okay so i will by selected this text now remember because now the next uh, uh, node i want that uh, should be connected uh, here after the text so either i can select the text or or i can insert the node without selecting the test node so i want the transform node okay the transform node is here and now i will connect to the text and it's still no changes because uh, we are again we are not looking from the transform uh, transform nodes and we are looking directly from the text and now we'll connect this viewer node from the transform node and now whatever we'll make some changes you can see directly on your screen okay uh, you can uh, using the transform node you can increase or decrease the scale or the size of your text or you can um, set the position of your text okay like this way and how we'll merge these two things from uh, with a constant or a background node so assume this constant node is a background is a it's a purple color color background and this text is a foreground so simply if you are a fusion studio uh, user then you may have some experience with merge node and uh, you can find same merge node here as well so import the merge node and here you'll get merge node and now try to understand here merge because uh, in fusion studio the things are very clearly yeah there you can find out foreground background and mask uh, the three inputs you can found three inputs and one output you can found find there but here things are not clear okay here you will uh, find one is for a input and one is for b and another thing is uh, called mask and this thing is output okay so a and b it doesn't mean this is a foreground this is a background okay uh, a b means is there are two things you want to connect with your merge node so it can be foreground or background or it could be two images that you want to merge together okay so it doesn't mean uh, the nuke x does not uh, declare that this is a background or this is a foreground okay so don't remember this merge node as a as a background or foreground foreground merger because here you got operation mode as well similar like a photoshop if you have experience with a photoshop then you got some blending mode there so this is the same thing blending mode here inside the merge so this thing is not like background or foreground but it's still because it's a tip or indirectly this merge node work like a B for background and A for foreground okay but technically it is not like that okay try to understand this thing please so remember this B as a background and A as a foreground it is just for remember okay but technically this thing is not actually happening okay so connect this B B means background to our constant node and a uh, foreground to our transform node because transform is the final node from our text so we'll not connect to the text we'll connect to the transform node because uh, we make some changes in our text and we made this in middle screen somewhere so we want to output uh, from transform not from text okay remember this thing and now uh, nothing changes on our display because we are 
our viewer node is connected to the the text or the text transform node this is the reason we can see only uh, the text here on on the display and now we have to connect our viewer node to the merge node and here we go so we got uh, the background a constant background with the pink uh, pink or some purple mixed color and the foreground is a uh, text and transformation with transformation still if you want to change some uh, change some position or some text style then of course you can change from here uh, as you can see this is a merge uh, property but you can jump over the transform property by clicking double click on the transform node and you'll get something like this with this situation and increase the the text something like this way okay so okay this is whole compositing um, we have done for basic uh, for beginners and uh, really this is very uh, uh, interesting when you play around with nodes and uh, you are uh, getting some nice result on your skin then it's it's really interesting uh, in the next few classes we will learn some basics and then we'll do some uh, we'll try to do some great pr uh, project work okay so I hope uh, you like uh, uh, this classes new classes and thank you for watching this